let's get started somewhere. So I just have here some drums. Plus the poly grid, I just added here. And there's nothing more than the union mode, uh, the union synth oscillator connected to a mixer and the ADSR curve. I just added the mixer in between and it sounds like this. Obviously, if you copy paste that one, and the nature of a respace is uh, the saw, and then they just recorded that one into the sampler and slightly detuned everything, right? So we don't have to do this right now and record this. And yes, you could do so also with some analog effects, but um, let's keep it simple for right now and uh, just focus on the process itself. So what I want to do is uh, let's add some oscillators in here and also add some distortion in between and just do this within the grid. <laughs> Sounds already marvelous, if you ask me. And I just do the same now, a Moog style having at least three oscillators. <laughs> okay, let's add some filter. So there are multiple choices, but I just recently discovered a Salian key filter. Let me show this to you. For some reason, I don't just don't like it. So, but maybe play with the filters. Uh, what 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 you just have here? Okay, so let's take up the MOOC filter. Maybe just a low pass ladder filter. to the silent key. I just don't like it how he's jumping around. That's why there is no no schema or proper schema to like what you should do and always use this or that filter. Just play around and uh, just in the past, I realized the selling key field I like a lot, but so far I think it just doesn't work while I'm recording this video. So I'm gonna use the just normal low pass LD filter. I really enjoyed it. And I just realized in the mixer, I already can add some stereo field. Cool. Before we head over to any further effects, check. let's check out the following. Let's take some shaper and also here the same. Just try out what you've got. Uh, I made some pretty crazy experience with the wave folder. So this is the first thing I'm trying right now. Let's try the wave folder with the different filter settings. Isn't that crazy? It's 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 Let's try one more thing. Let's add another mixer and try to blend these two filters I like the most which is the Moog in this case and the low pass and just cool so let's decrease this one again and slow down the wheels That's cool. So with that, then I've got it on the on the vibrato effect, but this one I can control via the motor wheel of my keyboard. Awesome. 
Okay. However, this is just the raw sound, right? So let's add some effects in here. And I just wonder like whether I really should add this within the grid or re already outside. I would rather prefer outside because this is really for me just a straight synth engine and everything else I can have outside and also like fold it up, have it in folders or so. But let's just try and see where this leads me to. But usually I would not do it like that. So let's add some phaser. Maybe there's a benefit of doing it in here. Let's try another shaper. Let's take the diode, mix this in here, put another mixer in there, going from there into there, into that one. So let's check another one, hard clip. Quantizer. Ah, cool. So I could take that one, but plus some extra effects, like where is some chorus? Add with another chorus. That's cool. What is this transfer? <laughs> Let's just try it out. Let's first go into the transfer. I yeah, cool. My gut feeling is just, okay, now I need to kind of filter this whole thing again. We first rearrange the mess here a little bit automatically rearranging everything. I think this would be really helpful just to find the lowest way and reorganize things automatically. So let's move this over here and there. Okay. So then it makes more sense just to see how things are connected. Okay. But in between, I want to have this filter so I can just uh, maybe tighten up everything a little bit. All right. And then in the end, I want to have a, I want to have a filter here. Yeah, in here. Let's just remove the filter. From here, let's continue with VST plugins. Okay, just to finalize this respace. So let's get out of here and let's add my own default bus. And in here, I just have everything by hand, which is like an equalizer, compressor, uh, auto pen, just if I have some pads that some stuff is moving around, some ducking tool so that it ducks to the rhythm, plus some preamp effect at the end. And this is where I'm gonna start right now. Let's first record the pattern. It was <laughs> not really well placed, but that's why we have MIDI, right? <laughs> okay, so here, and then there's another ghost node. We just don't need it here. And let's just check it, uh, solo it. So there's no processing ongoing so far. Yes, there is some processing, I phases, etc., in there, but just if you think of the uh, idea like you're creating a raw. One node respace sound within this plugin called the grid, and then everything else on top you edit. So let's do that, okay? So the first thing I would do now is add some preamp effects.
Now there's one major part missing in this respace, which is the bass. This is the character part, okay? But the what is missing here is just the 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 fundamental, yeah. So let's just add this one. And the way how I'm doing this one is I just replicate that one, just for the sake of simplicity. And I just focus here on the bass part. Yeah, let me show you that. But also let's filter everything that is like high frequency stuff. And now the big important thing is to mix this one and balance that one with the drums. Now you might say, okay, there is something missing, but there's a trick I I was using Ableton Live pretty often. Imagine you're in front of the club and there's this guy standing there and wants you to either pass or not pass. Uh, you hear this <laughs> and you either know, okay, you want to go inside because the music is so crazy or not. Let's implement the same effect, which is just a filter, right? So let's add a filter. And if I have the drums, okay, quite amazing. But let's add the, let's for example here add uh, the non bass section. Not so impressive, right? But let's add that one. So let's add the doorman effect. So I should not hear any any thing from this track, right? Okay. But if I add that one. So let's remove the doorman effect. Nice. So now just for the sake of complexity, let me just replicate that one and create some further effects based on that patch. I am anyhow don't know what I'm doing here, but let me just add some filter here, some filter craziness and not use the phase about whatever that is. <laughs> and add our but here i want to remove the i want to have this before the distortion stage i would call it here so let me just put that here and that you know what i'm talking about add this here <clears throat> add this here <laughs> okay. Uh. So here. So let's just add another layer of distortion madness. I just want to try this out. Okay, so this really is not my domain of music. Um, I just wanted to show you like the possibilities of Bitwig Studios, the grid and whatever is there on board. And yes, I was adding effects on top of that one and other VST plugins and so on that are not, not part of Bitwig. But the point here is you can just use the system and add anything and the possibilities are endless and respaces are really not my domain my usually an 808-ish kind of bass for my atmospheric drum and bass but this was really like 
what I had in mind I wanted to show with the software what you're able to do. And this is just a start. Imagine what else you can do with this grid system and uh, crazy. Please hit the like and subscribe button and just follow me what I'm doing here. I really enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Bye.